The best part about being Coco Golf is just the ability to do both on-court and off-court life. On-court being pretty energetic, intense, and then off-court, not mellow, but like just giggly. I feel like I have two different personalities. I definitely look like I don't smile a lot when I'm on the court, but it's quite the opposite off-court. The way I stay mentally focused in matches, I think, is trying to just treat it like practice. Practice, I'm pretty relaxed. Sometimes in the matches, I'll like when they have like certain celebrities come, I'll be looking at the screen, looking at like kiss cam or something. It just keeps me relaxed and not so much caught up in the moment. And the biggest thing that helps is breathing as well. Just taking deep breaths when I feel like the tension is getting tight. The only thing I do before every match is pray. And that's pretty much it. Listen to music, chill, scrolling TikTok, get the game plan and then just walk out on court. My favorite song to walk out to is Icon by Jaden Smith. And then I also like to listen to Aesop Rocky. <laughs> the, the part of the song is, uh, I'm not gonna say it because it'll get bleeped out, but it's the second part of the song is Problems, so you guys can figure it out. And, and a little bit of Drake. Um, I love J. Cole. And yeah, so usually a mix of those artists and some other ones too. When I think about the trailblazers that came before me, I would like my legacy to be defined as someone who was obviously a great tennis player, but also someone who put just as much effort and work into her on-court things as I want to do off-court. I feel like being outspoken and caring about topics and being vocal about certain topics is kind of what raised me and who I am. My grandmother was in a way an activist and uh, I think for me that this inspired me to be a, a more than an athlete and someone who kind of covered all parts of life because uh, I don't want to be boxed in as an athlete because tennis is what I do but it's not who I am and I think that's what my legacy would, I would like for it to be.